So I, I got enough skills to make songs and stuff like that. Uh, like any instrument, it's lifelong learning. You always learn stuff. I'm not really what you would call a funky bass player, so I'm not saying I'll never do that, but I, I, I'm a metal guy, right? So, yeah. One thing this instrument has taught me is just to play. Uh, just to play the damn thing. Uh, it's not much to look at, as you can imagine. It's really not the nicest neck. It's not definitely not the nicest fretwork. Scale length is a little bit short, so you don't have proper tension. You've got to just live with what you got. It's also taught me a lot about recording the bass, which uh, when you have a cheap bass like this uh, that doesn't have the right tension on it, you can get a good sound out of the bass, but you'll never get that that note clarity. And you know, like your your favorite bass players, you hear every note they play because they're playing basses that have proper scale lengths for the strings that they, they they're going with. Uh, but for the average guy that just wants to dabble in it. Yeah, this is kind of all, like as a gigging bass, it'll be fine. I haven't played it live yet. Sorry, live. I have. I played it live for two songs. <laughs> I did two songs live with it. Uh, but I played through the PA. I don't have a bass amp word. Um, my next bass is not going to be like an intermediate bass. I'm just going to go from this to like a dingwall, something like that. Or, uh, or a Warwick, like just, you know, get the best I can get. Um, I've already kind of explained that philosophy many times. Don't spend $100 to save 10 but I also understand, like, for somebody that's just getting into bass playing or just getting into guitar or drums, that you, you don't know if you're going to stick with it. You, you, you don't put a big investment in it. So something like this is, you know, if you buy it and you play it once and you never, okay, yeah, you're out five, 400 bucks or 500 bucks or whatever it is. I think it was 460 with the tax, uh, shipping and all, from uh, The Arts Music Store. Uh, I'm not sponsored by them, but the, they've treated me really well uh, over the years. The stores I normally buy from is, well, recently, Long McQuaid just got, uh, you know, I just bought this from uh, Long McQuaid, the drum kit. But I got a lot of these guitars I got from either Steve's, uh, uh, the Arts Music Store in Markham, Ontario, which I uh, mail order. I uh, bought a lot of guitars uh, off of them in the last little bit. Uh, you know, I bought from... Uh, Mainly Steve's over the years, uh, but uh, Long and McQuaid and Steve's are kind of like my two big go-to stores because they usually have whatever it is I'm looking for. Uh, but the arts music store usually has the thing, you know, what I'm really looking for, they usually have it in stock. They don't carry as much as the other two stores, but what they carry is what I want. So it's like, oh, okay, well. And then uh, when it comes to the Dingwall bases, those are like uh, trying to find leprechauns on uh, Patty's Day, you know what I mean? It's just good luck finding one, right? And, you know, when you do find one, it's probably going to be a two-year wait list before you get it. Uh, so this will do me till that time. So I'm not going to get something like there's... Uh, with the four-string, four, uh, four string, you can get just about anything. And that's the nice thing if you're a four-string guy. But with the five-string, you really need to go fan fret uh, to get the tension right or the extended range, uh, you know, of 35 inch or whatever. I haven't tried a 35 inch bass yet, but uh, I can imagine it tighten up the, the, the B a little bit more. But really you want to, you know, when you're going to go, you're, you're not doing leads like you are on a, on a regular guitar. Uh, so the fan fret, I think, would be a more benefit to a bass player than anything. So before I go and spend a whole bunch of money on another bass, I want to try those kind of basses, but hone my skills on this thing. So hopefully that, yeah, so one year in, so my playing is, you know, again, it's not the best playing ever, but... Uh, So I'm still a little bit sloppy in some areas, so I have to have to practice. Just winging it like that, yeah. Of course, I'm not going to be that. But you know, yeah, I got all that stuff down, and my my string muting is not bad uh, from. So, you know, I, I, I can handle the five string. Uh, 
Uh, I took to it fairly naturally. It is a little more work than I notice uh, to play a five string, obviously, to keep that, uh, you know, keep noises down. Uh, uh, whatever, but uh, you know, you, you, like anything, you play it enough, you're just going to get used to it. So, uh, records, like I say, it does the job recording. It's just it's not a really defined instrument, um, so it doesn't really stand out. It's like you know, you can't really separate the bass from the drums in the in the mix, which means your song is this thick. When you can separate instruments and your ears can hone in on this and it can hone in on that, it can hone in on every little thing. That's when your song is like that big. You know what I mean? So this will get the job done for now. Um, you know, one year of playing, I'm pretty happy with myself after one year of playing. And, um, you know, I don't feel like I can't write songs with it. In fact, I can write a lot. I've written a, quite a few songs with it. But uh, st I'm still like, you know, ironing out things and I'm gonna be recording a lot more in the next month or so, especially now that I got the drum kit. Um, and it all takes time. It all takes time. But it's it's time that you enjoy. It's, it's, it's a very fun thing. So uh, my advice about the, uh, for guitar players that want to get into uh, bass, if you've got the money and you don't have any other expenses, just buy the best bass you can possibly afford or do payments on it. You know, like payments are, I know, a double-edged sword. But it's how I'm getting everything because I just can't save up for stuff like that uh well i could but it'd take me you know the, the amount of time it'd take me to save it i'd spend maybe an extra two or three hundred dollars in interest on like you know you know if i'm spending an extra three two three hundred dollars of interest on a three thousand dollar item <laughs> you, you know what i mean like you're already at three thousand and it but i'll have it so the length it would take me to save up which is a year or two years Okay, I'll pay it off for a year or two years. It's, it's six or one, half a dozen. The other one difference is you get two years more of life on it. <laughs> you know, because you don't know how long you're going to live, especially when you're 50, right? Um, so, yeah, keep your debt manageable. Obviously, if you can't pay your uh, rent and you can't afford to eat, you know, you don't buy stuff like this. But for somebody that's looking for a place to start and you have a little bit more money, this one thing I will say about this base is, is it, it's a good base to learn on. But I would get either the six string or the four string if I were to do it over again. The four string because it'd just be a better tension bass. Uh, like the four, like the four strings on this. So the E's not too bad, but when you go to the B, like obviously you're hearing all the buzzing because it's not plugged in. It, it's just it's a lot more muddy than it, you would like it. Uh, so the four string will be a little bit clearer. You know what I mean? Uh, the six string. Well, if you're gonna go for the five, you might as well go for the six. You know, and just get used to a six string right from the get go. And then that way, when you upgrade, you upgrade to another six string. So I think I'm going to go six string after this. Uh, I might ditch the eight string guitar and go with a, a six string bass, you know, and just keep the seven string, right? Uh, but I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, yeah, that's my one year of playing, playing bass. Uh, I've enjoyed it. Can't, you know, I can't wait till I can upgrade basses, but this will do the job. Like Billy Sheen said, live with it for a bit. And you do kind of you know, get a character out of, uh, out of stuff. It, like I, th adding the bass into my recordings, like for example, my BR 1200 has the, uh, a bass simulator in it. So you can turn your guitar into a bass, so to speak. And just adding a real bass in there, even one that's not the best sounding or whatever, uh, is just a whole new dynamic. And I, and I really, really enjoy that. So anyway, there we go. So I'll try to get out of here with this. Uh. <laughs> I just made my drum throne higher for playability reasons, and now I can't get out of there. <laughs> All right, there we go. Well, I'll give you one more. Here's the Ibanez Geo with a lot of dust on it right now. So I know the bed's, my cat's been sleeping on the bed there, so that's what it looks like. That's it. There you go. Have a great day, eh?